Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode of TAC here on World of Me. Um, we've got a, another package in the day and uh, I do want to make a quick note that uh, there was a missing video from last month. Uh, unfortunately, we had a problem with, uh, with I think, the video card or something like that that we used uh, and uh, it ended up getting corrupted and we lost uh, pretty much all the footage on it. Um, we do have like a little snippet or something like that and it does show uh, the products that were in it so if you guys want to check that out uh, go ahead and if you only want to see that skip all the way to the end uh, let's see what's in this one and uh, you know see if they did better worse or whatever they have been kind of dropping the ball here and there but sometimes they redeem themselves uh, you know we'll see what's going on Alright guys, so here we go. Uh, looks like we really only had one product in the box uh, this time, and this is a Crate Club branded uh, product, which, uh, you know, for me, I'm generally a little hesitant on that. I'm not saying that the product itself isn't good, but I think they tend to overprice it by putting their name on it. Uh, so here we go. Uh, well, here it is. It says it is a Martin American Design Battle Axe, and uh, there is the card right there for it in a picture we'll go ahead and pull it out of the box here in just a second uh, and uh, very quickly they do suggest that is a manufactured suggested retail price of seventy dollars uh, so like I said I think uh, Crate Club they put their name on it and they think that it's worth uh, more than more than it is now not to say that again the products uh, could be good quality uh, but it just seems that um, I don't see when I look around for some of these things, I don't see them for the cost that they talk about. Now, uh, here we go. Got a, uh, a nice hardened sleeve, and it does have a bunch of holes there, so you can uh, maybe uh, thread through it to uh, attach it to something, maybe a pack or uh, a belt or something like that. <clears throat> it's on there pretty tight. So we've got a, uh, a lightweight lanyard here. Um, Seems like some basic 550 paracord. And uh, there you go. So there's the axe. Pretty, obviously, pretty small. Very, very, uh, uh, just plain for the most part. Very simple. Uh, looks like it's about a quarter of an inch across right here. So uh, nice and thick. It's got, it does have, for as small as it is, it does have some weight to it. Uh, now it has kind of the pick edge where it's actually beveled in one direction right there and that's not actually like sharpened uh, right there that's that's rounded over but it, it's sharp-ish I guess and of course you know that's good for uh, you know using it pick edge and, and things like that and however you would use it in, in terms of like maybe as a uh, battle axe uh, and then you've got uh, the axe head here now I do feel it's kind of odd right here where it's just the top edge and then they kind of let this bottom part drop down. I mean, granted, maybe it's kind of a, a safety thing for the hand a little bit, but personally, I would think you would just go ahead and extend the blade the whole length down. So that's, that's kind of an odd shape to me. Now, I don't know if this um, Martin American design uh, if that's designed off of another company's or pre-existing type of uh, axe that's out there or if that's their own personal design. So um, now it does have this, uh, it is a fairly nice coating. It seems to be maybe a uh, sort of a powder coat. Uh, it, it's a little bit textured here, but then when you get to the blade area, it's, uh, it's fairly smooth. They do have the uh, Crate Club logo there. Uh, and uh, you've got this kind of, uh, seems to be just like a polymer plastic type of handle, just a couple of flat pieces there with uh, some, uh, some lines and stuff cut into it and a little bit of texturing to give it some grip. Uh, it does use uh, two Torx uh, head screws here, and uh, they screw, it looks like they just screw into either the handle or they actually screw maybe into each other like one's a... One sort of a nut, and the other one is an actual um, bolt. And then you've got, of course, the opening for the lanyard and the lanyard itself, which, of course, always having a little piece of uh, paracord or or cord in general is always good. Uh, and then at the bottom, that hole there uh, is also a hexagonal hole, 
and I'm not sure exactly, but it, it actually looks like it could uh, be used for uh, maybe as a wrench or something like that. Now, of course, it's only one size, but um, hey, you never know. I mean, uh, tactical advantage, you know, anything that gives you an advantage to do something is, you know, is considered tactical. Uh, but uh, like I said, it does have some weight. Um, it is a quarter, quarter inch thick, like I said. It goes down all the way through. Um, I'm guessing this is, uh, this probably feels about a pound and a half, maybe, uh, give or take. Um, doesn't, it's not, it's not, uh, super, super heavy in the head, but, you know, it's got a balance about right there. So, roughly right around where your hand might hit, your fingers might hit. You might want to hold it to the back to give it a little more leverage at the, at the front end there. Um, whereas if you slide it up, then it's maybe more of a, uh, punching if you're using it for some type of, uh, defensive or offensive type of weapon. Uh, and again, you do have the hardened case right here that that, uh, slides into. Now it does have this notch right here, and that's where the, uh, the back edge of this is going to snap into. So I would say snap it in that way. And yeah, there we go. Pretty, pretty well locked in. And then, uh, well you just rock it back out so I would I would suggest going in that way myself to uh, lock it in and uh, it's not coming out of there and that's actually very similar to um, like I said the, uh, uh, the knife from uh, previous previous box they had uh, a small uh, kind of an eagle claw looking knife and uh, everything so there we go uh, pretty straightforward um, not disappointed with this uh, in the extent of, I do like this, obviously I'm a knife guy, axe is kind of included in that, basically bladed weapons or edged edged uh, implements of any type for the most part I generally like. So I do like this, um, you know, I, I don't know if I would quite put 70 on this, you know, I, actually, you know what, I probably, I think I probably would. I would say $70 for this is probably reasonable, just for the fact that it is so... Um, it's so thick. It's not like the thinner ones. Um, there are other ones out that are relatively similar that uh, just don't have quite the beef to them. Um, they're not quite as quite as thick, and uh, so they do feel a lot more flimsy. This thing, I mean, it, it really does feel like you could you could put it through hell and uh, you know come out on top with it. So. Uh, I will say I'm I'm not disappointed with this one. Uh, so so good on them for uh, for getting a a good quality uh, piece out there. All right. Well, sorry about this part, guys, but uh, looks like the battery cut out on my microphone there, and uh, you know, by my audio kind of cut out. So if you guys want to uh, check out uh, the couple of products that were in last month's box, go ahead and. Uh, wait for the end right here we'll have it up for a few seconds at the end so you can kind of see uh, what some of those products were there was a knife a tactical pen and some other things and uh, you know if you have any uh, questions or comments leave those down below and while you're on your way down that way don't forget to check out our social media in the description below as well as there will be a link for the uh, crate club uh, website and everything down there in case you want to check them out uh, also, down there in the right-hand corner, there's going to be our little uh, icon down there with the globe and the World of Me logo. Uh, click on that or on the subscribe button down below uh, to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, go ahead and hit that bell icon so that you're notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me with TAC or any of the other series. All right, guys, well, I'm going to say goodbye for now. My name is Cougar, and of course, again, this is the World of Me and the Tax Series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!